Hello, please. Good evening again to anyone with the mathematics. Just in case you are in doubt, my name is Momokini. And if you have any comment to any of the videos, you can do that via WhatsApp on 076 You also have the opportunity to attend the class on WeChat for those of you who are on WeChat by using the WeChat number momokini36 at gmail.com. Last week, we went as far as theories of logarithm and we dealt with our uh, base nine theories. We say nine theorems are used in solving questions when you want to solve questions using uh, logarithm. And I demonstrated that on one of the, the theorems. I took one question, I used all the theorems to solve. Today we are shifting now with evaluations, how to evaluate or how to simplify most of these uh, logarithms. At, at the end, you must be able to go through all the theorems again. That means if you are not able to go through the theorems, you go there again. We are looking at some worst questions, past questions. One here says, or the instruction for all of them says, without using tables, without using table here, I mean the, log, the uh, logarithmic table, there is log book, not the table that you used to write. Without using tables, evaluate the following logarithms. The first question here says, log 91 minus log 13. If you can recall, there was a theory that says, anytime you are dividing, you subtract. Anytime you are using the, the division, you subtract them. So if you see subtraction, that means the logs were divided initially. We said when you are using division, you subtract. So if you now see subtraction, that means those logs were divided before. So if that is the case, we have log, log uh, 91 minus 13 here. Simply means log 91 divided by 13. Because of the division, you subtract them. So anytime you see division, you subtract. When you see subtraction, you divide. That is the rule. When it is multiplication, you add. So when it is uh, subtraction, you are going to divide. So if it appears as division, you subtract. Because of the subtraction here, subtraction goes to division. That means we subtract these two figures. We take one of these logs and then we divide the figures. This long division here is what I have transferred. I now have a log again log. I will take any one of the two. Then 245, we have 245 here minus. Because of the minus here, we are going to uh, divide. Anytime you see subtraction, you divide the log. That becomes 245 divided by 5. If you progress with this one, the log at the top here is still there. 91 divided by 13 is 7. Divided by 245 divided by 5 is uh, 49. That becomes log of 49. If we progress with that, we have log of 7 at the top here divided by 49. If you want to write 49, the simple time to write 49 is to say 7 times 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Why 7 times 7? Because I already know that one of the figures up here is 7. So when I want to get 49, I will write it in terms of 7. And the only way I will write 49 in terms of 7 is to say 7 times 7. 7 times 7 will give me 49. And 7 times 7... Last week we said 7 times 7 becomes 7 square. That becomes 7 square. We continue with that. It's log of 7 divided by... There was a theorem that says anytime a log is raised to a power, you drop that power. So anytime there is a power, you bring it down. If I want to bring these two down, it becomes 2. I attach it before log 7. Log 7 goes here 1 into log 7 here 1. So what we now see here is 1 divided by 2. Answer there is 1 over 2. That is the answer for that. Uh, the second question, the second past question says, log 8 base 6 plus 2, log 3 base 6 plus log 12 base 6, minus log 24 base 6. We proceed with the theorems. All the, theor the nine theorems, we apply them. Now, if I start with, I have log 8 base 6 plus, there was a theorem that says, if there is a power, you drop it down. So if you now have something in front, you take it up. Have in mind where it is at the top, you bring it down. So if it is down, it goes up. That is it. So if that is the case, this two is now in front of the logarithm. If it is in front, you take it up here. It, it becomes log of 3 to the power of 2. Have in mind if it is in this form, you bring it down. So if it is down, you raise it up. B6 plus log of 12, B6 minus log of 24, B6. We proceed with that. It's given us log of 8 base 6 plus log of here we have 3 raised to the power of 2 3 raised to the power of 2 is the same as 3 times 3, that is 9 base 6 plus log 12, base 6 minus log 24 here base 6 
we apply the basic rules. We said anytime you are multiplying log, when you are multiplying log, you add them. So if you see addition, that means those logs we have previously multiplied. Anytime you see multiplication, you add the logarithm. So it, if it is addition here, that means those logs we have multiplied before. What does that mean? Because of the addition here, addition goes with multiplication. So the log base 6 plus, this is also plus. What we do here is to just take one of these log base 6. We take log base 6, log base 6, log base 6, you take only one. Because of the addition here, it tells you that these figures initially we are multiplied. So that means we have 8 times 9 times 12. At the end, if you want to simplify this again, you say log of 8 base 6, because of the multiplication plus, log of 9 base 6 plus. That is what we mean. When it is multiplication, you add them. When it is addition, you multiply. Anyone. Minus. We have log of 24 base 6. Now what I will do here is to multiply 8 times 6 times 12. I will have 8 times uh, 9 times 12. That will give us 8, 6, 4. We now have log of 8, 64 base 6 minus log of 24 base 6. We now come to the second rule. The second rule says anytime you have division, you subtract the logs. So if you see subtraction here, you divide the logs. Therefore, log base 6, log base 6, you can take 1. Because of the subtraction, you are going to divide these two figures. Anywhere you see division, you subtract. So if it is subtraction, you divide. 864 divided by 24 base 6. So if I divide 864 by 24, I'm getting 36. I will get log of 36, B6. If you recall the last class, we said 36 is the same as 6 times 6. And 6 times 6 is the same as 6 square. So 6 times 6 is 6 square. Wherever we see 36, we can just say 6 square, and we have 36. 6, uh, 6 square here is 36. So wherever you see 36, you just put 6 square. That is 6 times 6, base of 6. The theory says anytime you have a power, you drop it. So since there is a power here of 2, I will bring it down. That becomes 2 log 6, base 6. The other theory says when the log and the base, they are equal, the answer is 1. When the log here and the base, the log is 6, the base is 6, so the answer is 1. So that is given us 2 times 1. 2 times 1 is 2 as an answer. The other question reads, half of log 25 base, 25 divided by 4 base 10 minus 2 log 4 over 5 base 10 plus log 320 divided by 1 to 5 base 10. That is what we want to simplify. We look at the theorems. The theory says when there is a power, you bring it down. So if it is something that is down now, you raise it up. When it is up, you bring it down. So if it is down, you send it up. Hence, if we are now seeing a people down here in front, that means it was a power here. It goes up. We are having log of 25 over 4. Both of them now are raised to this one here half. Have in mind, if it is in front, it comes up as a power. So if it is like a power, it, you bring it down. The whole log here now is 25 over 4. So when you take this half, you raise everything to the half. We have this thing. Minus. The same thing applies here. There is something in front. So when this figure here goes up, it is becoming a power. If it is in front, it goes up. If it is up, it comes down. We have 4 over 5, this 10. But now all to the power 2. Because both of them owns the 2 that is in front. Plus, log of 320 over 1 to 5, this 10. We move. Now, in indices, when you see half, in indices, half means square root. If I don't want to say the square root of A, I will just say A to the power half. So anytime you see half, it's the same as the square roots. If that is the case, when I now come here, I have a uh, square root of 25, which is 5. Square root of 4, which is 2, means 10. Minus log of the 2, which is the power, is affecting the 4 and the 5. So you take them one at a time. You say 4 to the power of 2. 4 square is 4 times 4, that is 16. Divide that by 5 raised to the power of 2 is 5 square. That is 25. Base 10. Plus, log of 320 over 125. Base 10. 
Now what you do, you collect light times. You put all those that are positive together. The positive log. You are seeing this one as positive. The sign here is positive. So that is log of 5 over 2 base 10. The other log that is also positive is this. You can see positive here. So you bring the positive together. Plus log 320 over 1 to 5 base 10. Minus log uh, 16 over 25 base 10. We apply the, the theorems. Anytime you see multiplication, you add. So if I see addition, I will multiply. So if that is the case, since we are having uh, addition here, it means we are going to multiply them. We have log of 5 over 2. We just take log base 10, log base 10. You can take any one. And then we multiply these two figures because of the addition here. We have 5 over 2 times 320 over 1, 2, 5. That way. Minus log 16 over 25 base 10. If that is the case, I have the right to cancel some figures here. 2 can go into itself 1. 2 can go into 32, 16 times. The same 2 can go into 0, 0 times. We have 5 can go into itself 1. 5 can go into 1, 2, 5. That would be 25. Let me check that. 1, 2, 5 divided by 5. That is 25. 25 here. All what we now have here is log of 160 divided by 25 base 10 minus log of 16 divided by 25 base 10. Now you come down. Because of subtraction, you divide. Anywhere you see division, you subtract them. So if you see subtraction, you are going to divide the logs. Log base 10, log base 10, you can take any one. Then you divide these two figures. We have 160 there over 25. You divide that now by 16 over 25. That's what I just want to print. So if I take this one up here, because of space, I take it up, I will have log of the base 10 is still here. The rule in uh, fraction says anytime you change division to multiplication, you invert the one the last time. So what does that mean? We have 160 over 25. 160 divided by 25. If I change the division to multiplication, I will change that now. What I will now have will be 25 over 16 instead of 16 over 25. Anytime you change the division to multiplication, you take the inverse. That becomes 25 over 16. 25 over 16. So if that is the case, let us cancel now. 25 here cancels 25. 16 can go into itself 1. 16 can go into 160 10 times. So what we have here is log of 10 base 10. But when the log and the base they are equal, there was a theory that says anytime the log and the base are equal, the answer is equal to 1. So the whole answer for that expression is equal to 1.